Alhamdulillah I feel like but um yeah guys It is a new vlog. Today is the first day of Ramadan. I can't remember the day. I think it's, today's Wednesday, March 23rd, right? Today's Wednesday? Was it Thursday? Today's Thursday, March 23rd. Ramadan Mubarak to everybody out there. May Allah accept all of our fasts, all of our prayers this month. I'm really excited, y'all. I'm not even gonna lie. Right before Ramadan started, I was about to get, like, taken out the game. Like, that. dead serious. I can't even curse. Dead serious. Like, I was going through it. I was literally going through it. And I'm just like, huh? I don't know if y'all can even tell how puffy my eyes are. Because I was really going through it. I'm not going to lie. And I'm just like, what is going on? We got it situated. We got it worked out. But I was like, nah, this is crazy. Yeah, it's a new vlog. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, what's good, sis? Today, what's on the agenda for today? So first up, we're going to go to Lululemon. Um, I actually reached out to Lululemon for a sponsorship or like some type of partnership, right? But they said that they do everything through this ambassadorship program. I'm like, hmm, I was suspicious about it. So I'm like, okay, cool. So I'm like, okay, what about sponsorships? It was like, they don't do sponsorships on their end. I think if they said it was all um, in-house, meaning that I would have to go to my local Lululemon store and then they do the sponsorship or something like that. Which I, I like, I'm not saying that it's not true, but I just genuinely never heard of it, especially from like a retail company. Like, I'm pretty sure a lot of retail stores have like their own division for, you know, sponsorships and stuff like that. So I was like a little, like, T not taken back but like I was like oh wow this is different so I'm gonna see if I can go to my local Lululemon store it'll be my first time shopping there because you guys know I just started on to Lululemon like that but since I've started I did some numbers for them and I've influenced some people to go purchase the sets that I've you know posted on my TikTok so I feel like you know like no shade like let's work together I'm just like hmm like every sponsorship that has ever been made has all been made in-house I don't know I, I find that hard to believe. I don't know. That's just me. That's just me. But I was already going to go to Lululemon because I needed to exchange the fanny pack. If you guys watch me on TikTok, I have bought this fanny pack from Lululemon. And it was just too big for my liking. Like, it doesn't sit the way I wanted to. Like, it's just way too big. So I wanted to see if they had it in a smaller size. But if they have the set that I showed you guys in my last week vlog, like that nice blue, or we're getting that one. We're getting that set. That set is expensive because it's the flare pant. And the flare pants, I think, 118 We're going to just exchange it out for the set. But, yeah, and after that, we got to do some food shopping. Y'all, why did I wake up 15 minutes before Suhoor? But it is all my fault, though, because my dad did try to wake me up. But I locked my doors that night. I don't know. I just feel more secure with a locked door. I'm so serious. I don't know why, but I just feel way more secured with a locked door. I'm not even a heavy sleeper. I must have just been tired, y'all. Like, like I said, I was going through a lot. So I was just tired, okay? But yeah, we are doing food shopping and not like, you know, my aesthetic food shopping. I'm talking about like actual supermarket food shopping. Trader Joe's sells actual food. Let me not say that. But y'all know, Trader, you can't just do all your grocery shopping at Trader Joe's. So we're going to go to the supermarket and buy some food. I want to make some dinner tonight. Since the first night, I would have loved to make an African dish. But like I said in my last vlog, I'm still learning. Um, So I don't want to ruin <laughs> anyone's fast. <laughs> But like, you know, do like an experimental dish, no shade. So I'ma just make something that I know how to make. I made Jai Nice's hot honey wings the other day, baby. If y'all never made those wings, y'all need to make them. I might film me making it today, but if y'all never made those wings, y'all need to make them today. And it's super duper easy. Like it's like four ingredients for the sauce. Chicken is self-explanatory, like, oh my God, it's so good. And I'ma make that with um, either some yellow rice or cauliflower rice. For me, it's going to be cauliflower rice. For everybody else, it's going to be yellow rice or white rice, depending on what they want. I might make some mac and cheese. For me, cauliflower mac and cheese. Just because it's one meal a day, don't mean we got to go crazy. So, I've talked long enough. Let's head to the car, head to Lululemon, and see what's tea. So, we made it to Lululemon. I'm currently in a fitting room. I spoke with an associate about the um, ambassadorship program that they have. So... I misspoke earlier. So basically, Lulam has two ways of doing their sponsorships. They have like an actual creative portal that they do sponsorships with, and they also have like in store relations. So I came to my local store, which would be the Harlem store. It's the Columbia store, actually. And I spoke with them, and they said that um, it's currently closed, but they do plan on opening it back up 
pretty soon so i can just apply through there but i'm just like damn i'm not trying to skip any line or anything like that but like i said this is pretty different because i work with different brands all the time and typically it's either through an agency or typically the brand has a social media you know department where they get in contact with influencers and stuff like that so it's just a bit different but it's the truth that's what they do like I didn't tell him any information. He told me the information straight up. He told me the same information verbatim as the woman told me. So that's really how they do their sponsorships, I guess. But it is fine though. I really do enjoy shopping here. I came in here for the Maldives screen, but they didn't get the Maldives screen yet. So yeah, but this blue is really pretty. I like this blue a lot. Like it looks dull on camera, but in the fitting room, it doesn't look that dull. Like, you know, and this is the Define jacket. I'm going to put down. It's a Define jacket. Regular full length. I don't have a regular full length Define jacket. So, I was like, I might as well just get one. I don't know if it's just the lighting, but it looks vibrant. Like, it looks like a pretty sky blue, you know? But the Maldives green looks green. I don't know how to explain it. When I was in the Little Lemon store um, last week, it looked completely different. Like, it looked like this. But I was like, this looks a bit dull. But this is my size. This is a size 8. Um, I wanted to see if they had this in the mini flare. I like how the mini flare looks. I want to get a mini flare pant. I don't want another skin pant. So, if they don't have this in the mini flare, hopefully they have it in the um, Wonder Train at least. But I don't think I want to get another line. I think I want to do a mini flare. Just something a bit different, you know. But yeah, I love this. I think this is super duper pretty. I think it's pretty. This is a, it looks dull on camera. Like it looks like it's like a grayish blue, but I promise you it looks good. Let me show it to you guys in the what I'm seeing. It still looks dull, no shade on camera, but it's really not. Like it's really not dull. But I don't know. The lighting is weird. So that is the update, you guys. But I'm still shopping with lemon because one, the quality is actually really good. And every time I come into a store, I get great customer service so i'm just like okay it's kind of annoying not gonna lie but if that's how y'all do stuff that's how y'all do stuff but yeah i'm gonna see if they have a bottom to this hopefully like some type of flare bottom to this so i can get it um and yeah because i think i want to film like a lululemon haul as well for my youtube so yeah yeah it's too big but i love the color when i first bought it yeah okay so let me give you my receipt <laughs> yeah Okay, so this is the receipt for the big Actually, one. It's so silly. I bought so many but like, during the winter. I never wear them because I have so many pockets and clothes. Yeah. I'm like, oh, summer, where did I put yeah. all of them? <laughs> That's really why I'm buying it because it's getting warmer out. Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, cool. I don't really want to carry 20 bags. This is oh, literally yeah. the only bag that I have yeah. that's like a carry on mm -hmm. bag. So I was like, okay, let me get like a new it's one. Fine. Yeah. Thank you so much, Faith. Of course, thanks for coming by. Thank you. Hope you'll see, see me. You'll see more of me for sure. Of course. Thank you. Okay, guys, Thank you. You too. Bye, Shay. Bye. <laughs> you <Bye>. too. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. I definitely will be here soon. But I just left Lululemon, and uh, yeah, that's actually gonna be my home store. Like I actually enjoyed how everybody just was so nice like i just love nice people so if i have a great experience which is something that i always have whenever i go to the lemon store but like if i have like a great experience and i feel like it's very personal or whatever why is the okay let me face this way if i feel like it's very personal I'm like yeah we're gonna come here more often but yeah this is gonna be like my home store now for sure i was able to find the fanny pack that i purchased two weeks ago or three weeks ago i think um in a smaller size and i'm really, really happy because i really wanted it in a smaller size like i feel like it was just too big like it looks it didn't look right. You get what I'm saying? So I got it in a smaller size and I'm happy. I'm going to do some food shopping. I totally forgot. I don't know. I'm so used to like, okay, yeah. I did my errands. Let's go home. But now we're going food shopping because you guys know I'm fasting. And if I don't food shop, I don't know what I'm going to eat. I mean, I can make some food. Like I said, I still have food. Last week, I didn't do any food shopping because of the fact that I knew I have food at home. So, yeah. I'll talk to you guys once we enter the supermarket. I'm still debating on whether or not I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's or not. So you guys, I decided that I'm not gonna do like my heavy food shop today. I'm just gonna go and get the ingredients for the items that I need today because I had plans to do my food shopping in my Sunday reset or like a reset vlog. So yeah, and that's not this. This is just like a regular weekly vlog. And this vlog is actually not gonna be out for a while. So yeah, it's not that big of a deal. Dealio, you get what I'm saying? But yeah, we're actually going to Trader Joe's. And I know I just said I'm not doing food shopping at Trader Joe's because you know you really can't do all your food shopping. But I could get all the ingredients that I need from Trader Joe's. So we're just gonna head over there and get the food real fast. 
so I can make the dinner for today. And then tomorrow or probably Saturday, I'll just go and do the food shopping. So yeah, that's my plan. Because I realized, I'm like, girl, this is not the vlog that you're supposed to be doing your food shopping in. Like I plan my content and I plan when I'm supposed to do certain things. Like I have to do these things regardless, but I just plan when I have to do them so they can align with the videos or whatever. So yeah, that's that. I don't have a proper car mount. Like, at all my microphone is literally so big that it totes my camera also but i think i might try jasmine's trick she uses the road mic right and she clips it to her body but it's like it looks so discreet like i don't know how to explain it but it's like the road you know wireless mic and she has like the transmitter i don't want to spill her tea damn but like she has like the you know wireless mic and she has a clip to her i was like oh my god that's so smart like i have never seen that before so yeah she put me on for sure definitely go subscribe to her you guys um she attended the melanin maps event as well okay this is clearly not working so i'll just talk to you guys once i get to trader joe's because yeah this camera is so big that i can't just hold it like i do with my g7s <laughs> so yeah but that was just so smart but my freaking mic is just so big it's like the the furry the furball ones yeah i should have just been to a regular supermarket because the only thing that i'm going to be getting from trader joe's is chicken like they don't have regular hot sauce they have green dragon hot sauce and sriracha sauce but they don't have like regular hot sauce like i just need regular regular hot sauce they have all these different sauces but no regular hot sauce and then i have most of the ingredients that i would need for the meal at home already so i might see what else i could get like i said earlier i don't want to do too much shopping here because i plan on doing it for a reset video so yeah i might just get my protein bars and then get i'm not gonna really look around and shop for real for real because i'm shopping again like within the next two days you know i should do it now but i didn't plan on doing it now so it is a bit later i broke my fast already i think it's like 9 30 now or probably 9 45 i was so drained if you've ever fasted dry fasted meaning no water no food for 16 hours it's a lot you know especially if you haven't done it for a while the last time i fasted was probably like nine months ago making up a fast or something like that so yeah it was hard day one was successful i cooked didn't show you guys me cooking like i said i had no energy like i did not i was not in the mood to set up no camera nothing i literally had nothing left in me it was just a lot i would literally get lightheaded getting up i'm gonna insert some footage of how the food looks i made the hot honey wings that i told you guys about it's jai nice's recipe well i don't know if it's her recipe but i found out through jai nice and it's super simple to make you literally bake the chicken wings in the oven and then you make the hot honey sauce and that literally needs four ingredients hot sauce butter brown sugar and honey simple ingredients that almost anyone has so yeah everybody loved it everyone literally loved it and i was like yeah it's really really good like them wings is really nice i love hot wings i'm not even like a sweets person for all, but like it's just the perfect balance and i recommend everybody trying it out um and then i made some mac and cheese and then i also made some yellow rice but that was mainly for like my little sister and stuff like that because she likes yellow rice. Oh, I didn't even show you guys what I got from Lululemon. Let me show you guys the um, fanny pack that I ended up getting from Lululemon. So I purchased this exact belt bag early in the month, but it was just too big. Like it didn't look right. So I was like, if they had this in a smaller size, I would like really love it. You get what I'm saying? Like I love the color and it goes with um my new balances that I have. Like it's just like a pretty neutral, um you know, fanny pack to have. So I was like, I wish they had it. I went into the store today. Um, trying to get a set, but they didn't have the set that I went in there for. I wanted the Maldives green defined jacket and the mini flare leggings. Yeah, they didn't get either or. <laughs> so I would have to wait, but I really did enjoy that location. But anyways, yeah, this is the fanny pack. It just looks smaller. Like, I don't know if you guys saw my TikTok, you guys will see how big it was. This just looks smaller and like I could put it across the body. I don't know, for some reason it doesn't want to loosen up, but I'll get it when I really want to wear it, I guess. But I think this was like 38 if I'm not, yeah, it's $38. The other one that I purchased is $48. So I should have a refund of $10 on the way soon. Pretty happy about that, you know? Got some money back. It looks way better than the other one. The other one was just way too big. So this is what I got today from Lululemon. Literally nothing major, but I got some packages in from Amazon. These packages were supposed to be here yesterday, but I missed the delivery. So I'm going to show you guys the packages that I got. I got this package. I think I know what this package is. I ordered a new lens. I ordered a wide angle lens for my camera because I feel like my lens is just way too cropped in. 
so I ordered a wide angle lens from Amazon and this is only $190 I purchased it refurbished because I'm like it still works it's just used so this is the EFS 10 to 18 millimeter lens so I'm gonna try to switch it out let me see let me try to switch it out and then I'll show you guys the difference and then I'll do the rest of the haul with this if I like it but this is the lens I really wanted a wide angle lens just because I feel like you guys will be able to see more and it wouldn't be so cropped also I like this lens because it's adjustable it's not a fixed lens I don't like fixed lenses at all. I have two fixed lenses, a 35mm and a 50mm. And those are good for like, you know, I feel like content, content. I don't know how to explain it. Like it's good for like when I'm filming a shower routine, makeup video, or any type of sit down video. But I don't really like fixed lenses. But yeah, this is how the lens look. I literally took the cap off. It looks brand spanking new. Like what? I got it from Amazon. And the lens that I have on right now is the EFM 15 to 45 millimeter. So basically the smaller the millimeter, the wider the picture, I think. So this is it. And as you guys can see, it turns, meaning that it's not going to stay at a fixed angle. So yeah, let me switch this out. EFS, I think this is it. No, this is an EF. Okay, let me see. I, got, I need to put my adapter on this one. I would have to put my adapter on this one so I can try it on. But let me do that right now. And then I'll get back to you guys. Do y'all see the difference? O-M-G. This is literally crazy. I was on a search for a wide-angle lens for the longest. Like, I mean, let me not say that because I really wasn't looking for her like that. But the fact that I got on Amazon one day, like, I need a wide-angle lens. And this is this. And the quality looks this good. O-M-G. Definitely. I'm going to look in down below. It is literally amazing. I love this. I actually really love this. Tell me why now I have an issue with my camera. The freaking flip-up portion of the um camera yeah why it snapped off like one side is literally snapped off so i don't know how i'm gonna get that fixed i think i'm gonna have to go to canon and get it fixed but one thing i will say with this lens though it sticks out this is the lens that i initially had on and this is it with like a cap on so it's only this this long but the current one i have is probably like this long i mean probably like this long so yeah i'm so happy and let me show you how it looks like zoomed in. So I'm going to zoom it into 18. This is at 10. And it, it's cropped. This is crazy. I feel like I feel like mine before was probably like right here. Right? Yeah, this is exactly how mine was before. But now with 10, it's literally like this. Y'all see everything. Like I really needed a wide angle lens, but it does make the camera very bulky and heavy i'm gonna be honest with y'all like it makes it very bulky and heavy i'll probably use this when i'm either i don't want to say vlogging because i'm not gonna lie i don't think i want to lug this like camera because it looks it's very big now like it sticks out you know what i'm saying i have the mic on then the lens on it sticks out for instance like my hygiene video this would have been the perfect lens because you guys would have saw all of target you know what i'm saying but for everyday vlogging i could still do the um regular lens or I could just find a bag that, you know, fits the camera, you know? But I'm actually very happy. Like, I'm very happy. And like I said, I did get this refurbished. So it was literally $100 cheaper than the original price. I think the original price is like $299. Refurbished price was $199. $200 for this lens is not bad at all. Like, you guys see, the quality is still good. And it's a wide-angle lens. And it's not like a third-party lens. It's an actual Canon lens. So, yeah, I'm really happy. I'm going to continue with the Amazon haul and show you guys the rest of the stuff that I got. So the rest of the packages are hijabs. Literally, <laughs> I got on Amazon two days ago. I was like, I want to wear cute hijabs this Ramadan. Um, I really want to try to wear the hijab as much as I can. I ordered 35 hijabs for, I think, 17, if I'm not mistaken. I can't remember the price. I have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. I have 12 hijabs in here, and I think I paid... 35 i don't know i really don't i'm gonna link it down below but it was a really really good deal and i'm talking about that i have to get this and this is a jersey hijab oh my god this smells amazing oh it smells so good these hijabs aren't jersey but this one is i made multiple orders y'all i can't do anything in moderation i literally have a scarf for any outfit but it's like this it's see-through but i typically like wear my scarves you know, like this and then wrap it around like that. Like, I don't really do traditional hijab styles, but I will be doing some. And they smell so good. I don't know what's the name of this fabric, to be honest. But this is how it looks. Mmm. Pretty, right? Yeah, I really like it. So, I wanted like a nude jersey hijab. It just looks so pretty against my skin. Let me try to cover this so you guys can see. But it just looks so freaking pretty. Does it not? 
Like, does it not? So, yeah, I got the nude jersey hijab. So, this is just a regular jersey scarf. I love the quality. It's really, really good. And I have another package. I think this is the hijab that's already, like, pre-wrapped for you. And you just wrap it around one time just to do it, if that makes sense. Yeah, so, you put it on like this. Like that. Right? Mind you, I have something like this, but I have it in, like, a chiffon material. That's my prayer hijab, so I don't really want to wear that outside if that makes sense like it's chiffon you guys know so this is the other one like this you see it's already pre-wrapped super cute i am literally so close to the camera like i can touch it like touch it that's crazy that is literally i'm so happy tomorrow's friday y'all i think i want to start um my reset video tomorrow so start cleaning my room and stuff like that do the food shopping so that you guys can have the video by sunday Jayla and i were planning on linking for iftar so i have to text her to see if we're still doing that if we're not i could just plan my day accordingly from that but oh i'm so excited like y'all gotta understand all my lenses were so fixed and when i say i have a small room i generally have a small room so i really can't put my tripod too far back because there's furniture there you know what i'm saying so having this lens is definitely gonna help out my content a lot like filming try on hauls literally are a headache because i have no space now i can literally film a try on haul with this lens that's why i film my try on hauls like the sitting down portion and like the try on portion two separate times because i don't have the space to like have the clothes on and talk to you guys also i'm not gonna lie it's a bit easier to do that as well it's easier for me to like sit down and talk to you guys and then do the try on portion but when it comes to editing it's actually easier for me to edit while i have the clothes on like if i do it with the i don't know how to explain it but yeah it's gonna be so much easier so i'm gonna try to do some try on hauls with me having the clothes on and talking to you guys at the same time i'm gonna see how you guys like that though this is your sign to invest in a wide angle lens job because this is amazing okay amazing i'm gonna link it i need to update my storefront that's what i need to do i will talk to you guys later i've been chatting long enough already so yeah I'm bringing it back to the g7x um like i told you guys last night my camera um broke like the flip up screen the part where i look at myself it broke off well it didn't break off completely but the metal part snapped off and i was like okay i want to limit how much i use this because i need to get this fixed and i didn't know over right here and i didn't know how to get it fixed because i actually went to canon's website yesterday trying to get it fixed and apparently they don't even work on my camera anymore they say they no longer service this camera and i'm just like how like this is a new camera i think it came out in like 2019 if i'm not mistaken so they no longer service um i was not supposed to turn here and i don't know why this freaking app told me to come here but this is not where i'm supposed to be at and also if i sound very low energy i just received the worst news ever like you guys know Sherelle. if you're not new here you guys know Sherelle. her mother just passed away and yeah so i'm in yonkers right now because i want to go to this flower shop that i saw like most of the times when i drive here and i want to get her some like really really nice flowers Cheryl loves flowers i was thinking some lilacs or something like that um but yeah uh what was i saying i don't remember but yeah so if i sound low energy that's really the reason why i don't even know where i'm going my mind is literally everywhere right now but basically the metal part of the flip up portion of my camera snapped off and since canon doesn't fix it i was like okay how are we gonna get this fixed because i still need to use my camera and i still like i like this camera it's not broken so i decided to reach out to oh what are you doing i decided to reach out to local welders and i called one they said that their head welder isn't in right now so i have to wait for them to um come back to see if they can even do it because they're in queens and i was like i don't want to drive over to queens and you guys aren't able to do it if that makes sense so yeah that's what i'm waiting on right now you guys um i'm just waiting to hear a response back from them because um i need my camera fixed and i actually like love the quality of that camera like everything about that camera like that's literally not even an issue like, i'm not complaining about it i'm not worried about it nothing i'm just letting you guys know updating you guys why the quality may have changed or whatever but um when i got the news this morning my heart literally sunk you guys like i was like what i was literally at a loss for words because <sighs> Cheryl is when I don't want to get all into this because I'm gonna cry again. But right now, actually, we're at Michael's because I need to get a canvas. Last night, very impulsively, I went and took this Grace Jones poster down. I inserted an image of it. It was on like a random construction site. I saw it. I was like, wow, this is really, really nice. Gotta get it. So I got it. 
and then um i always knew i wanted to put it on a canvas or something like that so i was like yeah i gotta get a canvas for it i ripped some of the poster but it's not too bad and i was like okay when i'm ready to actually use it and like you know put it on a canvas i'm going to fix it randomly last night i was searching up large canvases because the poster is massive it's like 48 by 60 like it's huge you guys so i randomly searched up 48 by 60 canvases and michael's is having a 70 percent off sale on all of their canvases so their canvases are ranging from 2.99 to 29.99 so the 48 by 60 that's typically a hundred dollars is on sale for 30 dollars right now so i was like oh my god i gotta get this before it sells out because even last night when i checked it was only 16 in stock this morning i checked again 12 in stock i was like let me just hurry up and get this real quick i'm already going to be around the area to get the flowers so yeah i'm trying to see if i can remember where the flower place is at i always see it especially when i'm driving around lisa so i'm just going to drive around just to see where the flower place is at if i can't find it i'm going to end up going to whole foods and just like ask them to make an arrangement for me because i believe they do that so yeah i'm gonna keep you guys updated so i'm here and as you guys can see it says 70 percent off lowest price of the season like this is crazy um and they're pretty cheap originally i think they're like well this one is 39.90 but i'm looking for the 48 by 61 i didn't even realize it was more over here but um which one is this that's 24 by no and this says that they have 12 in here that's literally the only reason i even came over here because it said it was out of stock everywhere else. So I'm gonna go ask for some assistance because I don't see the larger canvases here. And it said that they had it here. So, oh wait, no, no, I see a lady with it. I see a lady with it. Did she get it from over there? I saw a lady carry a huge canvas and there's no way that she took everything. We found it, you guys, right here, 48 by 60. This is literally how big the canvas is. So I'm gonna get this. I don't even know if it could fit in my car but we got it and i think this is the last one no wow is this the last one i was lucky i guess but yeah it's right here you guys 70 percent off and it says it's from march 17th to what the 26th it's actually not the last one y'all they have like a few more here i don't know if i want to get two but i don't have another poster so i'm just like let me just do this i'm debating on whether or not i should just get like a few more like different sizes just in case like in the future i ever want to do like a diy or something like that like they're really really affordable you guys so i'm just like what do i do you know but i have the canvas um and it's going to be perfect for the poster so yeah i think i'm going to go get a few more yeah go check michael's y'all because it's on sale <laughs> okay yeah now i'm gonna just get one for the poster because i only have one poster but i'm like maybe i could do another size well let me go purchase this first and put this in my car because i only have one hand available right now and this thing is massive oh wait let me go get another one because i messed this one up a bit purchase the canvas everything get to my car the canvas don't fit in my car so now i gotta go buy some twine <laughs> to go wrap this freaking canvas on the roof of my car so i could drive to the storage unit real quick and just put it in there and then hurry up and do that this nice man is helping me tie everything together wow y'all this nice man literally tied the canvas onto the roof of my car because he saw me he was like you need help because no shade what i was doing that thing would have flew off this man literally first off let me tell you what he did he wrapped the twine around the um canvas first right boom i didn't do that i literally threw the canvas on top of the car and started like i was like you know i'm gonna just wrap it around the car at times he was like, you don't even need to use the whole twine. He literally wrapped the twine around the canvas, right? Boom. And he wrapped the twine on both of my um, bumpers. So, like, I don't even have to hold on to the twine. I was like, oh, my God, I'm going to just hold on to the twine while I'm driving. No. He did it all for me. And literally, I would have been here for, like, a good hour if he didn't help me. Like, this was probably, like, five minutes. And it took five minutes because you had to um, untangle the freaking twine. But I'm going to go to the flower shop right now to go get the flowers. So I'm visiting Cheryl right after this. I'm going to try to go to um, the storage and drop this off and then go to our house. But I just have to let you guys know, there are still some nice people out here. And, and I'm not going to lie, I know I'll be screaming Miss Independent, but baby, I don't know what I would have done without him. I'm so serious. I don't know what I would have done because what? Good morning, you guys. It is the next day. I didn't even talk to you guys after... I left, I think Michael's, after I told you guys that guy was helping me. If I even told you guys that. But basically, um, the canvas did not fit in my car, y'all. That canvas did not fit in my car. Um, I had to uh, get some twine and wrap the canvas on top of my car. I literally did not measure anything. So I'm like, my car typically fits a lot of stuff. And I didn't feel like I needed to measure anything because my car typically fits anything. Like, <laughs> whenever I go shopping, my car 
handles it. Like, it literally carried a freaking 10 by 12 or 10 by 13 rug. So I'm like, yeah, it could fit anything. It did not fit it. So this guy had to help me put the twine on the roof. So I drive to my storage unit. First off, I forget the key to the storage locker. So I had to come back home get that mind you i took the canvas off the roof of my car already so i literally just had to let it sit by my locker and hope that nobody took it nobody did but yeah go get my key come back right it's time for me to put the canvas inside the locker canvas too big for the locker my locker first of this is false advertising my locker says it's supposed to be five by five my canvas is a 48 inch by 60 inch what is that that's supposed to be four by five my canvas can't fit in there because of the fact that the locker takes up two inches to close the door so really, I don't have a 5x5, five five. I have a 5x4x10. Five by by so I had to literally drag this canvas home with me. It doesn't fit anywhere, it doesn't fit underneath my bed, it doesn't fit behind my bed. Girl, I don't know what I'm going to do with this canvas, but it was on sale for $30. So I'm like, maybe I could just upgrade my storage locker. I was going to upgrade my storage locker, they said I got to pay $100 or $102 a month. That's what I'm trying to include my 35% fee since I just started. But typically, I would have to pay $152 extra a month. And I'm like, why would I do that? When the whole purpose was for me to save money and get this freaking canvas for $30. So I'm just trying to find a way. I think I'm going to put it in the living room for right now, like behind the TV or something like that. Because we have like a, a TV console, so you really can't see it. So I'm like, I might put it behind there until I'm ready. Because it don't fit nowhere. It does not fit anywhere. And I tried to put this canvas in so many ways in that locker. It was crazy. I tried to take everything out, but y'all know I was not trying to take out that suitcase. So... Yeah, then that was not happening. But I got the canvas. I'm just not ready to use it right now. But I got it for such a good deal, I could not pass it up. So, yeah, after that happened, I came home, literally took a nap. I did way too much yesterday, especially for someone that did not eat. I did way too much. So I had to take a nap, and then I woke up, and then I went to go see Sherelle. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys, I got her the flowers. I got her some really, really nice flowers. I saw Sherelle. I was at her crib for a bit, and then I came home to break my fast. And then that was really it. I didn't really do much. I've been watching this show on Netflix. What's the name of it? Well, let me not say I've been watching. It's a background show, but, like, when I do pay attention, it really is a good show. Um, Where is it? It's in my safari. Because for some reason, Google Chrome was not working. It's called The Night Agent. Dang, I'm on episode 8. This is the last episode, no? No, th I have two more episodes. Dang. That's crazy. But, yeah. So, that's basically what's been up. Um, Today, I was going to actually film my reset video. I don't think I told you guys because I think I cut it out because I was like, you sound like you're complaining. So, and I don't like that. So, I was like, let me just cut this out. But, we're basically getting renovations done in my house. So, they've been in and out for like the past two weeks. And it just popped up today saying that we're doing a kitchen today. So, I was like can't do that that's that um so i was like dang i'm not gonna be able to film my um sunday reset i mean i can right i really can so i'm gonna see if i could today like start filming uh, like a portion of it at least because i don't want to not film the video sorry if the angle change is because my memory card ran out of storage so i have to clear out some footage but what was i saying uh, since i uploaded a weekly vlog i didn't feel like it was necessary for me to upload a sunday reset right after that so i was like let me upload some content if that makes sense because the Sunday reset will essentially be like a vlog. I was like, I could, you know, space that out a bit. So I'm not really too mad at myself. But tomorrow I definitely will be filming content. I'm filming two videos, two videos that you guys, well, one video that you guys have been asking me for. And then another that I really just want to do. So I'm going to be filming my shapewear routine. Not shapewear routine. I don't know why. <laughs> routine in front of everything. But my must-have shapewear items, y'all. Y'all always ask me what shapewear I wear. Everything. I've been big, thick my whole life you get what i'm saying so i know what shapewear works and what shapewear doesn't like i know from jump like i don't have to shop in store for shapewear anymore i know how to read the materials for shapewear and everything like i just know what works especially for my body type i know what works so i want to put you guys on so if you guys hear anything in the background it's the radiator like i said i live in new york so yeah i know what works and i know what doesn't make you look like a one ball because you guys know how some shaper pieces literally will shape you into like one shape like a ball basically no my shaper must haves really shape you and they just snatch you but you're still comfortable it's not uncomfortable oh i just love the shaper that i wear and it won't just be shapewear, it'll be shapewear and undergarments, basically, like, my favorite bras or whatever. Um, well, not favorite bras, my essential bras for, like, specific types of clothing. So I'm not going to be showing you guys my bra collection, but I'm going to be showing you guys, like, a few bras that, like, 
I feel like are essential, especially for not so everyday pieces. For instance, like a strapless bra or a deep plunge bra or whatever. Stay on the lookout for that video because you guys have been asking and I'm going to deliver. And then the next video that I have is a Lululemon haul. Earlier in this vlog, I was letting you guys know how I wanted to film the video. Still want to film the video regardless of what happened at the um, store. I mean, nothing happened at the store, but I'm just saying, you know, the no sponsorship thing, like how they, they do basically ambassadorships, basically. So, yeah. I want to film that video. I think that'll be a fun video for me to film. I'll be bringing in a new audience to my channel. I actually want to go to Lululemon today to go get that Maldives green set. Because you guys know when I went to the Harlem location, they didn't have the Maldives green set. So I'm going to go to the location that I originally saw it at. That's what we're going to do. I'm already showered and ready for the day. I just chill in a robe when I'm at home. I'm going to be real, child. It's very rare for you guys to see me in a pajama set. Mind you, I have so many pajama sets. So many. I just love me a good robe. Like, I love a good robe robe i've been talking long enough i'll talk to you guys once i'm in the car also my camera is still not fixed so that's why i've only been filming with this wide angle lens in the house because i don't want to risk taking it outside and it gets even more damaged so i'm going to be switching over to my g7x so if the quality you know strips a bit that's the reason why i reached out to the welding company they told me that they were going to get back to me but they never did so i'm going to try to give them another call today to see like what's up if they could do it or not so yeah i have a 30 minute ride ahead of me so i was like I can't listen to music. Why not chat to you guys? Basically, you guys know I have a mount for my G7X in my car. When I'm vlogging with this camera, my seat has to be all the way far back so I won't be so close to the camera. That's why I've been like, you know, messing with the M6 because I don't have to be as far back. Why did my camera just turn off out of nowhere? Like, it was like camera, I remember restarting camera. What? And I was talking too. But it's fine. Um, we're headed there. Oh no, this is not, I didn't want to take, I didn't want to get on this. Or did I take the wrong exit? Because I didn't want to be on this freaking... I didn't want to take the FDR. I wanted to take the Henry Hudson. Because I knew there was traffic on the FDR. Even though Henry Hudson was going to take me longer, I don't like sitting in traffic. That's my thing. I don't like sitting in traffic. I must have took the wrong exit because I'm so used to taking the FDR. But I wanted to get on a Henry Hudson. Not the FDR. So I'm upset. I'm actually upset because it's just bare traffic. 11 minutes of traffic i don't like sitting in traffic that's my thing like i don't like you know i don't like it i don't like it at all so now we're in traffic but you guys already know i'm headed to little lemon right now i don't know if it's just me i don't think i should even say this but ever since ramadan started i just be thinking about the meals not that's not the only thing i'll be thinking about but i've been thinking about food more often i'm like okay yeah i'm gonna make this for dinner tonight i'm gonna do this I'm da -da 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 -da. girl what that's not all I be thinking about though. I'm gonna be honest with you. That's not all I be thinking about. But I think about food more. I just be like, oh, yeah. I can't wait to make this meal tonight. And I don't really be like that on like an everyday basis. Like I cook a meal, be like, okay, cool. If I'm excited about something, I'll be excited about it. But for me to be like, yeah, mm-hmm. Yeah, this gonna hit tonight. Da -da -da -da. Imagine how it's gonna taste is kind of crazy. Not gonna lie. But it's fine. It's currently 118. We have six hours left. It's completely fine. Also, it's raining if you guys can tell. Super gloomy out. But I realized that I only wore one battery with me. So I'm not gonna be chatting for too long on here because I need my battery to last um until we get to the city so I can vlog a bit there as well. So yeah, and also I don't really have nothing much to talk about. I said I was gonna chat to y'all, but I really don't have nothing much to talk about. I guess I just wanted to talk because can't listen to music, you know. But then again, me talking more is also making me more hungrier. So I should just, you know. So I will talk to you guys once we get to the city. We secured the Lululemon. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> no, thank you. I mean, it's a good hair. Hey. <laughs> She's so beautiful and so cute. I just y watched your H&M haul and I took screenshots. So that's the stuff I'm looking for. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, let me just hit up H&M real quick because I just came from Lululemon. So I'm just going to go to H&M real quick to see. And I just went to a Ritzy. Wow. Girl, I, stop. Then they gave me this big bag. Are you serious? Wow. <laughs> That's crazy. That was crazy. I tell myself every single time I'm not going to walk outside with me any type of way anymore it's not that i'm looking any type of way but like it's raining i was like i'm gonna be in and out i know what i'm here for then i was like oh let me go to h and look see what they got and look i'm running to people but the she was so nice and she's living from florida but this is what i get but the thing is anytime i do look cute though right anytime i look cute I never really run into people like that like so cool but the day where i was gonna go people sat on had no wig <laughs> That's the thing, and I can't even find my uncle for y'all. My list is done chat. So, yeah, but I came from Lululemon. Um, got my stuff. 
and I'm cleaning the H&M right now. I want to see their acid section. This always happens. Anytime I just want to run a quick errand. Quick, quick errand, right? And my mind is quick. <laughs> Throw anything on real quick. It happens. And y'all saw how like for the past few days, I've been good with the, you know, actually putting effort into what I wear when I go outside. But it is what it is. Every day is not a one day, okay? Still pre. <laughs> But anyways, let me look around and see if I can find anything. And if I do find anything, I'll let you guys know. But yeah. So I'm in my car. Why did I end up finding my freaking aqua for? After I got into the car. But I got some tops from each and I got a sports bra and I also got um this mint green top. I'll show it to you guys once I get in the house because I just didn't want to be downtown anymore. Energy was slowly depleting, so I was like, nah, let's just head home. I don't even know what I'm gonna eat for Ixtar, so we gotta figure that out, especially since I'm already downtown. If I wanna get some Jonah juice, I was thinking about getting a spicy tuna, right? No shade. I don't know why I sound like that. I was thinking about getting a spicy tuna, but I was like, I wouldn't be eating it for like another, well, it's technically four hours now. I've eaten a spicy tuna four hours after it's been made. You know, I have. I'm not gonna sit here and act like I have, and I have. But I'm like, hmm, do I want that? Or do I want some wings? Like, I don't know why. But I've just been in a wing mood <laughs> recently. But I'm not gonna lie, some Jonah juice sound really, really good right now. Like, really good. So, I gotta figure that out though soon because I think I'm about to leave. I think I'm near one right now. I just don't know where. I think it's on this side or if it's even on this side. I think no, it's right here, right? I'm near one right now, but I just don't know where. But it's like, I don't know if I really want Jonah juice though. Like, if I don't end up getting it, it's completely fine. It's not that deep. But yeah, well your girl is on her way home now. If only you guys saw how I had you guys set up. It works, it works, but I know it's not gonna be a long-term thing just because I know how my car is and I know how my like my dashboard is. It's not gonna be a long-term thing, but it works for now. Um, but I have the, I have my aqua pro bottle underneath y'all. I gotta drive real slow and steady when I'm driving like this, but yeah, my girl is feeling good. I should get home around like, yes, yeah, that's 3.30. I'm gonna get home around 3.30. Um, I don't know, it's just, it's not even about me being in the city, it's about me being near Times Square that's really just like sucking the energy out of, I hate coming to 42nd Street, I hate driving to 42nd Street, I think it's my third, fourth time within a week span driving to 42nd Street, what? What? No, I don't like that, I don't like that, but um, I don't know what I want to eat. Also, I'm debating over there now, I want to get like a white um set not necessarily from google i mean i really don't wear white like that but i want to see chatting like i'm dead chatting right now um i'm gonna talk to you guys when i get it and i'll show you guys everything that i got today it is i think like two days later technically three days later technically because it's tuesday sunday i filmed my sunday reset monday today technically i chilled home for a bit and i just pulled an all-nighter to film some content because y'all i have a really bad sore throat and i don't know what it is and i was like yeah <clears throat> what if i gotta get my tonsils removed or something like that i need to have some content ready and out for y'all like my throat hurts so bad so bad like i don't know what it is i'm gonna go to the doctor tomorrow get it checked out but like when i tell you it hurts bad it hurts real bad and i'm like is it because i'm like is it because i've been talking but it's like no like i talk a lot there's been days where i've talked even more and i've never experienced this pain like it hurts so bad hurts to swallow and i'm just like i hope i don't gotta get my tonsils removed or something like that because if i do i'm out for the count like i'm out for the count so i was like let me just film my content i filmed three videos y'all i have four videos to edit including my sunday reset five technically including this vlog so i'm like y'all will have content if I do have to go and get my tonsils taken out or whatever, y'all will have content for like a, at least a good month. But I don't really want to drag the content out for a month. I really want to get everything out within the next two weeks, you know? So, yeah, and just film new content for you guys. But when I tell you my throat hurts, it hurts, you guys. Like, it hurts so bad. I accomplished so much within the past two days. My room is cleaned. I mean, now it's a mess because I was filming. But it was cleaned. My bed is made. Let me show you my bed. My bed is made super cute i'm about to take this makeup off and the reason why i'm pulling an all-nighter to film is because of the fact that i wanted to wait until i broke my fast to put my wig on do my makeup and stuff like that i started filming around like nine o'clock i'm tired i think it's like 2 a.m now i will talk to you guys tomorrow we have a fresh beauty event to go to tomorrow so i'm super excited about that i can't wait 
I hope my throat gets better because y'all it hurts i'm gonna try to drink some tea before i go to sleep it is the next day i sound so soft spoken because i have to be when i tell you this sore throat is no joke like it's literally no joke i'm not even fasting today because i have to constantly like drink some type of warm liquid in order for it to soothe my throat so i'm not even fasting today i've been taking so many hauls different cough drops i need to go to the hospital i know but it's getting better from what it was last night i don't know if it's just a cold because you guys know the weather has been so iffy one day it's freaking 60 degrees next day it's 30 so maybe i am just catching like a common cold but <clears throat> my throat baby Mm -mm. But I am dressed for the day. It's coming in like I think three o'clock. I am on my way to Fresh. You guys know the skincare line. Um, they reached out to me and they were like they're having a private shopping event and I should pull up. And you guys know I love the Fresh Brown Sugar Body Scrub. So I'm like, what? One of my favorite body hair brands just reached out to me to come and pull up and shop. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. <laughs> I'm gonna definitely do that. So. Yeah, my appointment is for 4.30 because we have to select like certain times or whatever. So I have to be in flat iron by 4.30. I have enough time. All I need to do is just take one train and I'm there. So, yeah, that's literally it. And also, you guys, I have a new Lululemon set. If you guys haven't watched my Lululemon, well, this is a weekly vlog. So, yeah, this is probably going to be out probably. My Lululemon video might be out after. No. You guys might see this in a while because I kind of want to make my vlogs as long as possible. You guys might see this probably after my Lululemon video, so it should be out. But I will link this down below. This is the Maldives green set. Also, y'all, if you watched my shape red video, I did my double layering trick. So I have the Sphinx and the Skims on, and it's giving body. Like, it's giving body. Y'all can't even lie. It's giving body. So, go watch that video too if you haven't. I'm really trying to produce as much content as I can for you guys. As well as balancing out with the vlogs. So, like, if I do go, like, one week with just posting only content, no vlogs. Just know that when I do release a vlog, it's going to be super long. It's going to be interesting and stuff like that. So, bear with me. I'm not going to be able to upload an hour plus vlog every two, three days. Because I just can't do that. Like, I literally just cannot do that. So, just bear with me. Watch my different forms of content you'll enjoy it the vibes are still there but yeah i'm gonna head out i think i want to wear my supreme fanny pack because i'm giving this 40 look and i hope i'm not too dressed down i don't think i'm too dressed down the reason why i decided to go like with this white headband and like athleisure look is because they're promoting their cleanser their number one cleanser and i'm like well if i want to test out the products i don't want to wear makeup and i know that if they want to test the products out on me they're going to probably put my hair up in a headband. So I was just like, you know what? Just put your hair in a headband from jump. So you won't have to mess up your hair or anything like that. It's already like this from jump. So that's why I have this outfit on. But I just hope I'm not too dressed down. Once again, I don't think I am. We'll see. I'm super duper excited. I've been feeling so optimistic and hopeful lately. And you know what's crazy? I've been going through so much at the same time. But I'm still being so optimistic. And I'm proud of myself. Because me two years ago, shit, even me last year, girl... If I'm going through something, it's knocking me out. But I feel so optimistic and I'm just, I don't know, I'm like in a good space. I'm learning how to take things as they go. I'm not going to just stop because something happened. I'm happy. Let me try to preserve my voice for when I get to the fresh event because I want to talk while I'm there. You know, I, their whole team is going to be there. I told myself I want to start going to events alone. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. You know, build new relations. Yeah, I will talk to you guys once we're down there i'm gonna be vlogging on my g7x because you guys know that this camera is broken also let me give you guys an update about that the welder got back to me he said that he can't do it because the machine is so hot it literally burns at like forty thousand degrees and it's just it's just too much he said it would literally damage your camera so then i called ken and like hey like i just got this camera this camera is not even five years old how do you guys not repair this he said oh we don't repair it but we replace it so why don't you specify that <laughs> on the website and she says there are no repairs for this camera i'll put a screenshot of it too but why don't you just say oh but you could replace it but if i want to replace it since i'm out of warranty i have to pay 460 and i'm like damn but this camera is also really good and it's also an investment so i'm gonna call them once more just to see how long the process takes so i can plan my content around that just so i can know if i need to bulk film and then have to ship this camera out if that makes sense because this is like my main camera now um but i do have the g7x as backup always but i just love my content on this camera like i love the audio i love the visual everything so i would just have to plan around that and i have a trip that i'm going on too so i don't know i'm just gonna see um how long it's gonna take when like is it like a quick thing once i get this camera i just gonna go and replace this like what is it but the thing is it says that the camera is sold out so if the camera is sold out like how i replacing the camera that's sold out you know what i'm saying i don't want credit i want my camera that's literally it like they need to have a canon repair store that literally just fix it because mind you the monitor works it's a small piece of metal that allows the camera to flip up and down 
and that literally snapped off so yeah that's the issue now we gotta get it fixed um i'm trying to figure that out Okay. What's great is that it's a pH balancing cleanser. Mm -hmm. So even though you're getting a deep clean, it actually restores the moisture back into your skin. So it avoids that. Like, you know, sometimes you wash your face, your face feels really tight. Or yeah. Dry. Yeah. It avoids that. And it's a gel like cleanser, which I like. Just FYI, if you have dry skin, foaming cleansers are the most dry. So always lean towards a gel versus a foam. So I currently use the Panoxyl um, Benzoyl Peroxide Cleanser. Okay. That is fine. Okay. Use it every day. Yeah. Okay. I I think you're sensitive. It's fine. So for me, mm -hmm. I can only use it like two or three times a week. Like, okay. Hormonal acne, like around. Uh, yeah, me so too. It's, I'm breaking it. out right now too. Yeah. So that's when I use it. But if I'm not yeah, using yeah. that, I'll use the soy. But the thing is, right? But okay, not stuff like that's literally like the only cleanser that like has helped my acne. Cause I had really bad acne for a really long time. Okay. And I realized that it's like you know balanced it out. But I still get some like hormonal breakouts, especially like around my mouth. So okay. Sometimes my forehead. Around my side. Do you so. double cleanse? I do, yeah. depending on if I'm wearing makeup or not. Okay. If it's just like okay. a regular day, just I will, regular yeah. Day. I will say, so for acne, I will honestly prefer Panoxyl over this. This okay. is just like a gentle cleanser. So I always recommend this, like if you want to do like your first makeup removal. Because yeah. For me, I don't know. Cleansing bombs really help with my eye. Like they're in my vision, but I can't use it. Oh my god. Does I'm that happen to way. you? I'm it the freaks same me way. out though. No, but I love how it cleans my makeup it though. Does, I'm not gonna lie. Like on a heavy beat, like I'll do it. Yeah. But like on an everyday thing, I can't deal with that every yeah. single day. So I remove it with soy actually. Okay. And it takes off my mascara too. Are you serious? Yeah. That's all I use now to remove my makeup because I'll use the oils and my like bombs on a heavy makeup day. Yeah. Like it's light. Even like with what I have on right now, this will remove it. It doesn't look like you have. It looks so natural. I'm like that's the, the epitome. Um, Rare Beauty, their tinted moisturizer. Wow, it looks so good. Thank you. Yeah, Rare Beauty and like some blush. Wow, yes. it looks so good. Thank you. But you know, I'm the same way with the balm. Like I love the elements. Um, that's what I use. I love that cleansing <laughs> balm, right? But I literally feel like I have like 15, 20 vision. Like yeah. my eyes get so it's bad. Yeah. And I already wear glasses, so I don't need my vision like going off. Yeah. So, like, I use it when I need it. Yeah. But, like, for light days, go to store. Even if like you're just using one um, and you need yeah. to like get it off. So it's really good for that. So I'll give you that. Okay. I usually use it like at night after you have your makeup removed. Just in case, like your cleanser doesn't catch anything, the toner will get it out. I don't use it in the morning. I don't know if it really goes up in your sleep, but I use it at night. Yeah, I don't use it at night. It's really nice. But I was like, mm, I don't know. I'm telling you, if there's one product I can use at Fresh, yeah. it would be the essence. The essence? So it's right here. Primer to your skincare. The way you have a primer to your foundation. Yeah. So it basically helps your skincare absorb better to make it more effective. Yeah. So, so when do you use this? After the toner? So after your toner. You okay. So it's cleanser, toner, and then essence. And essence. Okay. Mm -hmm. This also helps boost your skin's luminosity. So if you feel like your skin is like looking dull from the winter, yeah. it helps with like a glow. Okay. Yeah, so let me get you that. After you tone, then you go in with an essence. Think about it like as a primer. So before you do any like moisturizer or any actives, you'll use this. So okay. Into your skin. So I was just recently prescribed um, tretinoin and okay. I, she also prescribed me clindomycin. Uh -huh. So when should I use those prescriptions within this so, routine? You would cleanse, tone, um, use your essence, and then you can use your prescription. Okay. And then your moisturizer. Okay. And stuff like that. Yeah. Okay. So these three steps first. 
and then you can go into like your eye. Okay. And what's great about Fresh is that a lot of all of our products are natural, and so they pair well with any actives that you're using because they're super gentle on your skin, so okay. they're not affecting any like sensitivities and stuff like that. After the SMD serum. Serums. I use the yeah. topical faded serum. Okay. I think that's the only serum that I use. This is more of like a moisturizing um, serum. Okay. Are you trying this really helps for like glowy dewy skin. On a natural makeup day, I like mixing this with like a tinted moisturizer or yeah. a foundation, and it really does help with like a dewy look. So can I use this with both my my faded topicals and this? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This only has niacinamide and ceramides in it, so it's not going to cause any sensitivity with like any active that you're using. Okay. How do you like topicals? I love it. No, I have to show you pictures of how I my have skin really looks. Bad type of pigmentation. What? And so I've been looking at the faded, but I've been hesitant. I have to show you how my skin looked like okay. in December. Like when I tell you I had bad acne, I had bad acne. And I'm a pimple popper. Oh yeah, me that's too. What, that's what caused, I know it's gonna happen every yeah. time, but I still do. I know, but the thing is, right, I just can't have a big pimple on my face. Like yeah, I just I can't. Wrap the scar exactly. And Ex that's exactly how I see it. But I'm gonna show you a picture of like me breaking out. Like my skin was terrible. And then I realized once I started using the benzoyl peroxide, like it really like helped me a lot. And then where's that picture? So the benzoyl peroxide, I actually started using that for my back. Okay. And then I started using it on like my hormonal acne. Mm -hmm. my face. And it works really good. It but does. I just have to use it sparingly. I use that every day. And I it's 10%. My sister uses that every day and it works for her. But she has a lot stronger skin than I do. I feel like mine is a bit too sensitive. Yeah. No, I use it every day, and it's actually, at first I was scared because it's 10%, and I just went in straight yeah, with the 10%, I didn't even do 4%, but I, my skin... I mean, if it's working, no question. Yeah, so I was like, oh my god, where is this picture? It's this one picture where it's like, you can would never get that but topical peroxide, like, has helped fade it. Like, it's a lot better. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, y
This is what we call our party mask. Like that's basically gonna snatch your face before you have an event, before you have a party. Are you serious? Like it helps to like smooth your skin, like tighten any pores, and it, your face just feels a lot more like firm and plump. So that's the best way I can describe it. Okay. So I love that when I'm going out. And I love this when I feel like my skin is like super dry and needs hydration. It's super thick and it's rich and creamy. So like it's an overnight mask. You don't need to wash it off. Okay. But for me, that's when I feel like extra dry. So it just depends on like what you need. What kind of colors do you like? Do you like pinks, nudes, browns, very pink. Pink? Yeah. Okay, so we have petals like a pinky nude. I'm trying to think. So is it more like a tint after like I wash it off? Yeah. Okay. Well, no, no, no. It's like, it's like a hybrid between a lip gloss and a balm. I think it's bloom and rose might bloom. be me. And then rose is right here. Okay, so I think it might be bloom. Bloom? Yeah. Okay, cool. So we can do bloom. You can that peach? Yeah. Mm. And then this is peach. I love you passion, fruit. passion fruit. Yeah, okay. passion fruit is something that I always like. I like passion fruit a lot. This is passion fruit. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Do you want to smell peach? Sure. Let me smell okay. peach. Oh yeah, this peach. is good. Yeah. No, let's do peach. Let's okay, do peach. Cool. We can do both. Peach and passion fruit. You sure? Fruit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> At the fresh store, you guys and. Isis is just a vibe, like I love her so much. But she is literally just showing me around, letting me know about everything, and yeah. And I am breaking out too, so this is literally the perfect time to come so we can get these skin concerns treated. But yeah, super duper happy, and it's like a private experience, so yeah, I love this. <laughs> this is what I have in my basket so far, like my girl is hooking me up, okay? You guys, this is literally, this right here is literally the best body exfoliant ever. I restock on this so frequently, really? yes. My mom is obsessed with it and I didn't get it until I tried it last summer and I, yeah. It is amazing, like the best. And it smells so good. Yeah. So it's hydrating. So it's so it's good. It's really hydrating. A lot so of people good. don't realize that. So yeah. good. I well, love it. Okay. <laughs> the ISIS hooked me up with so much stuff. This bag is so heavy. Like I'm so appreciative. Um, she's an amazing person. You guys already know I like fresh products. So when I got the invite to come and do like a private shopping experience, I was like, oh my god, of course. But now I'm on my way to get something to eat. <laughs> I want Joe in the juice. I only have this one day to eat during the day for the next month. Well, actually, no, my cycle's coming pretty soon, actually. That's why I'm breaking out. But listen, I'm gonna take advantage. <laughs> I'm gonna take advantage of it, okay? Um, my throat is doing better, you guys. Me preserving it helped me a lot. Let me actually type in where is Joe in the juice before I just continue walking around and I don't know where I'm going. But you guys, I'm so appreciative, like, crazy and i'm so happy i didn't wear makeup because you could really see my skin and it was super intimate you guys like it was literally just me in there i definitely recommend you guys checking out the fresh location in new york like that store is actually really, really nice it's very oh my god this bag it's very small it's like a boutique it's real cute inside definitely recommend but i'm gonna go and walk to joe's it's six minutes away where is this 21st okay i gotta walk to 21st i'm gonna walk there and then get my sandwich because i haven't had joe in a long time y'all like Y'all know me. I'm a fiend for Joe and the Juice. I'm in Joe and the Juice right now. They have new boxes. I think it's only for a little bit of time. But they're doing like this partnership with um, this brand. It's called Ja Mama. And they have like a hot sauce. And I like the spicy food. So I went to try it. You guys know my regular spicy tuna order. But I went to try this new hot sauce. To see how it is. I wish they added more sugar. But this is how it looks. I'm just pour a little bit. Okay. She's right. The person that made my skin was like, it's way better than the black song. And it really is. Mm -hmm. It's actually really good. I don't know how long they're gonna have it for. Because I haven't been in jail in a long time. I didn't know they were doing this. It's so good. 
I'm gonna enjoy my meal. And since they're playing music in here, I don't wanna be copyrighted. I will talk to you guys once I leave. Joe and the juice. I don't know what I'm gonna do for the rest of the day. Actually, I do not need to edit. Like, I have four videos that I need to edit <laughs> that need to go up this week. So, I will talk to you guys later. I made it back home. It's only like 6.30. I'm about to get changed and start editing so I can have my video ready for tomorrow. I probably won't be talking to you guys until tomorrow because it takes me a while to edit. What is up, you guys? It's probably like a week later. When I tell you, I could not speak for like the past. Like, I could speak, but like, I couldn't get on camera. Like, y'all was not going to hear me. Like, my voice sounded crazy. This sore throat was literally no joke y'all like when i say my throat was hurting it still hurts it still hurts till this day do not get me wrong but it is slowly getting better but y'all i could not speak i couldn't do nothing after the freaking fresh event i think that was the last day that i vlogged the fresh event and i think the fresh shopping event was like what day was that? i think that was like wednesday tuesday i didn't show you guys what i got from that let me show you guys what i got from that before i get to everything i got a lot of stuff you guys so first up my favorite thing from fresh is their brown sugar scrub like if you aren't new here you guys know how much i love this brown sugar scrub it is literally literally amazing love this it is the fresh original brown sugar body polish this is the best the best exfoliator out like literally the best exfoliator out like i love it so much and i picked up the fresh umbrian clay purifying mask it deeply cleanses and purifies so it's a face mask that i'm gonna use i can't wait to use all these products i actually might use it all today because today is sunday by the way so i want to like do like a cute little sunday reset for my body i did one for my room but i want to just do one for my body like just you know just get into everything skincare self-care if that makes sense i want to do everything today so i picked up this face mask and then i picked up the soy face cleanser my sister the woman who invited me to you know shop at fresh we have similar skin concerns she was letting me know that she uses this cleanser to take off her makeup sometimes because i was letting her know how i use the panoxyl cleanser and now you know how i feel about panoxyl like me and panoxyl I like this she told me that this is a great double cleanser so if i want to take my makeup off with this like on a light makeup day i could definitely use this to take my makeup off and i was like oh wow my favorite makeup remover is by elemis it's their pro collagen balm i love that like literally the best makeup remover but y'all me and isis we were both talking about how like when you like start using bombs it doesn't even necessarily have to be by elemis we were talking about how when we use bombs our visions just get blurry out of nowhere and i was like oh my god i thought it was just me i was like am i getting the product in my eye but i wouldn't get the product in my eye but I don't know, for some reason, every time I use a balm, my vision goes a bit blurry, not gonna lie. Not forever, but as I'm washing my face, and I'm like, oh my god, this is kind of scary. But she told me that this is a great um, double cleanser, so I'm gonna definitely try this out on like a light makeup day. And then she also recommended the Rose Deep Hydration Facial Toner. I'm not really a toner girl, you guys know I'm still learning my skincare, but when she put the toner on my hand, I was like, oh, I like how this feels. Like, it doesn't feel dry, and I feel like with a lot of toners, my skin felt dry after. I was like, this feels very hydrating. So I was like, you know what, let me just give it a go. I never know what I'm gonna like. So got this, and then we got a facial essence. I've never use the essence before but this is the kombucha facial treatment essence and it says it protects and visibly repairs boosts luminosity and then another face mask that we got is the black tea firming overnight mask isis was telling me that this was one of her favorite masks aside from the umbrian clay mask this is another good mask and it's the overnight mask so i don't have to wash it so i'm gonna try these out in moderation i'm not gonna just put everything on my face all at once because you guys know i was just prescribed tretinoin like different you know medications for my skin so i don't want to do too much and i feel like my skin is already purging i mean i don't know if it's purging necessarily because i am on my cycle right now so so it could really just be hormonal acne but i'm already on a lot right now so i don't want to shock my skin too much and then i also picked up a serum this is the tea elixir skin resilience activating serum and then we got lip products so i got the fresh sugar passion fruit and then the fresh sugar peach hydrating lip balms these smelled so good especially the um peach and then i got a lip treatment this is like a lip tint this is in the shade bloom it's like a really nice rosy pink but yeah that's everything that i got from fresh when i went because i never really did like an actual haul for you guys when i got back even though it's probably been like a week at this point it's sunday what have i done this week you guys remember i filmed like three four videos um i've just been editing those videos and i've just been trying to rest my throat everybody keeps on saying it might be strap because strap is going around please stop it's just a common cold <laughs> I really should get it checked out though because if it is strep, like that's a normal thing, don't get me wrong. But like if it is strep, I actually got to get it fixed with antibiotics. It's not going to just go away on its own because it will just keep on coming back. Like, you know, it could go away, come back, go away, come back because I never got it treated. But I don't think that it's strep, you know. I think it's just a common cold because my nose is stuffy. I've been sneezing, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I've just been trying to rest my throat and then my cycle came like two days ago, so... Yeah, I haven't been fasting. Um, what else? 
yeah that's really it i have videos to edit i'm really good on content for the month of april i've still been planning different types of content that i want to film this month and i'm really really excited i'm so happy i'm gonna be real with y'all because for a while my freaking channel was shadow banned and now that it's not shadow banned anymore it's really making me so optimistic because y'all when i tell you i will put in so much work into my videos and they just were not getting the recognition or they just weren't being seen or pushed out anywhere it was quite frustrating and it makes you want to quit but like now my videos are getting pushed out and it's just making me very optimistic it's just making me very eager to just want to work create content because it doesn't feel good to put in all this work and you're just not getting the recognition don't get me wrong nothing comes easy but i know that the content that i put out is good and if it just had the chance to be seen i know that other people will enjoy that content that's what i'm trying to say so i'm really hopeful and i'm happy that you know people are finally finding me basically so yeah literally yesterday i uploaded my sunday reset video and it's doing really really well on my channel as for like the previous videos that i've been uploading for like the past two three weeks i've been very consistent like that's my number one tip to anybody just be consistent because when i realized my channel was like low-key shadow banned i was like yeah you know i wasn't as eager to create content edit the content think of ideas i just wasn't because i'm like i'm putting in all this work and it's just not being seen i'm gonna be real with y'all i feel like everybody goes through it so man yeah, just be consistent it takes time because i feel like i was shadow banned for like a good nine months I'm not gonna lie, I think I was shadow banned for like a good nine months. Like my content just was not being seen. People that used to comment on my videos like years back, because I remember everybody that comments, especially if you comment very frequently, they're like, oh my God, I haven't seen you. I haven't gotten a notification from you in dumb long. I thought you quit YouTube. I'm like, girl, I've been here. I've been here. YouTube is just not pushing it out. But I'm so happy. Thank you, YouTube, because I know y'all listening. You know, I know, I know y'all listening because that's, y'all check everything. But thank you, YouTube. Um, but I'm just really happy, very hopeful. And yeah, I'm just excited to push out content for you guys. I'm just trying to push through everything. Life is going to happen. You know, it's going to be so many obstacles in the way. Just push through it and you got it. But yeah, what am I going to do today? I need to take a shower. I have not been able to take a shower because we're getting some renovations done in our house. So they've been in and out. So they just left and I'm about to go take a shower. I want to go to the city today, spend some time in Soho, you feel me? Like I haven't been in Soho in that long. Yesterday was so nice, y'all. Yesterday was 70 degrees. 70 degrees and I really couldn't even enjoy the weather because of the fact that when I tell y'all my video was playing me, I uploaded my video into YouTube three times. Why did it get copyrighted three different times? Mind you, every single time it was a different part. It was the same song, don't get me wrong, but it was a different part. So I'm like, okay, cool. Maybe I could still use just like part of the song, but this specific part is just, you know, not good good every single time it was like you know it's copyright but in the previous copyright claims it would never show all the parts that are copywritten so i'm like okay cool maybe it's just the specific part of the song that's copyrighted no and you would think after the first time I'm like okay cool let me just take the song out completely i forgot that i even had the song in some parts because the way that i edit the video i was like splitting up the song so it wasn't like oh different songs for each montage it was just like splitting up the song for each montage if that makes sense i forgot i was doing the song so i was working this video for four hours that video was supposed to be up by 11 a.m it didn't go up until like three yeah it didn't go up until three and it was taking so long because i barely have storage in my laptop but a quick little tip you don't necessarily need a hard drive you just need something to hold the storage so if you have an extra you know sd card or something like that fair warning you know this is not supposed to be like a replacement for a you know hard drive but if you're not able to get your hands on a hard drive right now use an sd card save all your footage onto the sd card like it's still storage it just takes longer because you know that's not what it's meant for but it will save the video but it will just take a little extra while to save onto the sd card you can still edit and everything the same way but saving it does take a little while so if you don't have that much storage on your laptop that's a quick little tip for you i've also been watching love is blind and i have a lot to say so if you haven't watched it yet this is your chance to skip because i'm gonna get into everything so y'all i don't like kwame or alex whoever he wants to go by your name is kwame like i call kwame Kwame. Your name is not Kwame. Like, I think he's Ghanaian or something like that. Call Kwame. Kwame. Put the emphasis on E. Like, stop trying to whitewash your name. You know what? Let me not even try to get into all that. But, like, I don't like that. Like, it seems like he doesn't even want to be African. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, he's like, I wanted to go by Alex. Alex! And I already know he has a type. Like, just, yeah, I already know he has a type. Like, he just rubs me the wrong way. Not gonna lie. Someone who's been irking me, y'all. Um, Julie, Jackie Lena. Oh my god. Marshall, Marshall is a good man. Jackie Lena, she's used to toxic love and she needs to go to therapy. Like, not even just for, like, her love situation, but just in life in general. Like, she's so overwhelmed about everything. She's been thinking about everything. She's literally always ruminating about something. And I'm just like, no shade. Why did you come on a show when you know you really had, like, real stuff to deal with? But to me, it's just like, you have a lot going on in life right now. I don't think that this is the appropriate time for you to come on a show and get married. 
You get what I'm saying? Like, that. I just don't think that was appropriate. But Marshall is a great man. Marshall is a sweet, nice man. Why did this girl say you need to be more aggressive? Aggressive? Like, what are you talking about? Andre, he woke up mad early, went to the supermarket, got some food. I don't know if it was the supermarket. But went someplace, got some food, made her breakfast. Then offered to do the dishes like, oh, you could just go get ready and I'm going to just do the dishes. I guess she didn't find that masculine enough. I'm like, girl, what? She's used to like traditional like relationship roles and I'm just like, nah. Marsh is a good man. Even when they had like that little back and forth about like, oh, how Jacqueline was like, oh, you need to be more aggressive or whatever. And he left the night. And he started clapping in her face like, you wanted aggressive? This is aggressive. She was like, don't clap at me. You're literally, like, backtracking. Like, what do you want? Like, you're not you're not making any sense. I feel like she wants somebody that she could chase. Like, she's not used to somebody that, you know, actually, you know. I, I'm talking like I know this girl, y'all. I'm talking like I know this girl. But, like, this show makes me do this every season. But, like, she wants somebody that she has to chase. Like, she wants that hardship love. And I'm not a fan of that at all. What? That's not me. That's not me. Marshall is a great man, and they're definitely not going to work out. I think I'm on episode 8 or 7. They're not walking down the aisle. And even if they do walk down the aisle, they're not saying I do. Marshall and Bliss will be really, really good together. I'm surprised that they didn't connect. Bliss is another thing. I'm surprised that she even came back on the show with, what's his name? Y'all know, y'all know homeboy. I'm so, what? I'm no one's second choice. You're bugging. You're literally bugging. He literally chose Irina, the person who forgot his birthday, over the girl who baked him cupcakes and remembered his birthday. And for you to come back on the show, it doesn't matter if he says, oh, you're not my second choice, I still had love for you, da 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 You look like a second choice, straight up. Fame is not that deep for me to come back on the show and look like I'm somebody's second choice. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. And that is exactly what it's giving. But, yeah, I feel like Bliss and Marshall would, like, be a really good couple. Like, I think they would be a really, really good couple. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I don't know these people. But... Based off what I'm looking at, they look like they work together well. Like, they will work together well. Jackie Lena, just, she just want, like, some struggle, tough love. Like, that's what it is. That's what it is. And, like, that's okay. If that's what you want, just, you know, be straightforward with it. But don't demean the man. Like, the man is a nice man. Like, don't say him, like, oh, be more aggressive, be more masculine. And you're trying to make him feel less of a man when that's not the case. You just want a different type of love. Like, straight up, you just want a different type of love. Like, Marshall is a good person. He seems very sweet, very genuine, and she's just not used to that. But don't demean him. That's literally how villains are born. Like, and y'all, a couple that I'm, like, really rooting for, Brett and Tiffany. I just love Brett and Tiff's dynamic. Brett got money, okay? Like, Brett, that's a good man, Savannah. That's a good man, Savannah. Like, no, seriously, like, he, like, what, yo? Did y'all watch the part when Sun said, oh, if you like this building, we could move up to a bigger unit, like two, three bedrooms. I said, huh? Girl, that's a good man. Do not mess that up. He's willing to displace himself to make sure you comfortable. Yeah, do not, do not lose that one because what? I was like, yeah, that's a good man, Savannah. If you like this building, we could move up to a bigger unit. That was really like, yeah, geez, like, yeah. <laughs> It is very rare to even encounter that. I like their dynamic a lot. I hope that they work out. I don't know. Tiff was pocket washing for fake. I'm not going to lie. Like, Tiff, he got his own money. Like, he, he could spend $1,200 on a suitcase. He got his own money. So I was confused when she was like, oh, what's the most you ever spent? I wanted to make sure we have enough money. Girl, like, if y'all both was doing good before y'all got together, I feel like y'all should be doing good after y'all get married. Don't get me wrong. I understand, like, finances comes into big play when getting married or whatever, but... Girl, he got it. <laughs> he got it. And he doesn't even seem like he's the type to spend all his money on dumb stuff. Like, he want to splurge every now and then, then let him do that. But don't pocket watch. I don't like a pocket watcher. Like, I don't. But no, I really like their dynamic. Who's the other couple? Micah and I forgot her other partner. But anyways, that's my little analysis of Love is Blind. Let me know in the comments down below. Let's talk. I'm going to go and take a shower, y'all. I will talk to you guys later because I've just been chatting for mad long. I'm not even lying. It feels weird eating there in the middle of the day, but I can't fast. So, but you guys, it is a few days later. I don't know what was the last time I vlogged. I ended up not going out. I literally just stayed home and relaxed because I'm like, you know what? I haven't relaxed for a bit. I'm not gonna lie, I have videos that I need to edit. And to me, I was just going to Soho just to go to Soho. There was no purpose for me to go there. Like, it was just for me to be outside. So I'm like, nah, just get your work done. And I'm happy that I did. I was able to get my video edited. Just uploaded my Amazon must-haves video. I'm trying to be on this consistent kick. I'm not playing at all whatsoever. Content coming full throttle. I just got a major brand too, and I'm just so freaking happy. But yeah, these Trader Joe's peanut butter protein granolas, dumb good. Like, I really need them. 
They have 11 grams of protein for each serving. They're really good. You can use that cereal you put on top of yogurt. They're really, really good. But today, y'all, remember how in the last vlog I was letting y'all know how I want to start making more African dishes. That's what we're going to do today. The dish that we're going to make today is nem. It's the African version of a Vietnamese spring roll. And it's so good. So freaking good. I used to body, like... 20 nems in one sitting i promise you because they're like small spring rolls nem is so good you guys like i love it so much and i'm like yo i'm not gonna just keep on saying I'm, i want to learn i want to learn i want to learn i'm gonna do so today i wanted to make nem I remember when i was younger i used to help my mom roll up nem and everything and i'm just like yeah no we gotta do it and like i told you in the last vlog i've literally been on like west african food tiktok heavy like so many fire creators that just cook west african dishes and they're really like you know teaching me so i'm going to go to the supermarket and go get the ingredients that i need I wrote down everything. Also, aside from TikTok videos, I did watch one YouTube video. But I already knew that was an easy dish to make. I just never really made it. Like, I always helped my mom after she did the filling and everything to roll it. So, I can roll them, but I never made them. So, I'm going to be making that today. But we need shredded carrots, onions, melted butter, half a green pepper, ground turkey, shrimp, chicken, garlic, black pepper, red pepper, spring rolls, sweet chili sauce, soy sauce, and vermicelle. But, yeah. Let's go to the store, y'all, because we're going to cook and we're going to body these men's, okay? I just look dumb ashy right now, but y'all, tell me why I go get all of the ingredients that I need. All of the ingredients that I need just for me not to be able to find the exact rice paper spring roll wrappers that I need. It seems like nobody sells it. And it's like every supermarket grocery store that I went to, they would have egg roll wraps. And those are just too thick. Like, it's just too thick. If you've ever had nem or regular spring rolls, they're thinner. Like, the paper is thinner. It's like rice paper. Nobody seems to have rice paper wrappers. Why my lips look so ash? <laughs> I clearly have the ingredients. I'm just going to go to an Asian market tomorrow and hopefully make it thin. Because this is crazy. Like, this is literally crazy. I was so prepared so prepared y'all like it was gonna be so good like i was so happy just for nobody to have rice paper like i've been driving around everywhere i'm not doing this this is just too much how can nobody have rice paper if i'm in the mood for something i'm in the mood for it and i know i'm gonna make it you know what i'm saying i was so excited i'm like yeah i'm gonna make some yam tonight it's gonna be fire it's like g my life anyways i will talk to you guys later i found the spring roll wraps i don't think the places didn't have it. No, I don't think the places had it. Let me, let me say that. But I was also checking in the wrong section. I always thought it was going to be in the freezer section because if you guys ever made like empanadas or whatever, the discs are in the freezers. And never purchased spring roll wrappers before. So I thought that it would be in the freezer as well. So I was always checking the freezer aisle and it would never be in there. Whenever I asked them, please, managers, stock managers, it was like, oh no, we don't have this, we don't have this, we don't have this. So I'm like, okay, cool, they don't have it. So I went to a supermarket today and I'm like, okay, let me go ask them. It was like, oh yeah, it's in this aisle. They knew exactly where it was at. It was like, yeah, it's in this aisle right here. Da -da 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 -da. And I'm like, oh, wow. So it was not in the freezer section, but yeah, I got the wrappers and I got three. I'm going to make the nem Saturday night because I have an iftar dinner to go to. My cousin invited me to an iftar dinner at her friend's house. So I'm super excited about that and everyone has to bring a dish. So yeah, I'm going to bring nem. That's very bold of me to make something for the first time and bring it to people but i have faith in myself and i know how to cook so it's like it's but so much that could really go wrong with it if that makes sense so yeah i'm gonna make it on saturday so i'm gonna show you guys like the um you know the full process on saturday when i do make it but right now i'm at loose deals i'm about to go and just chill for a bit like i feel so leth not lethargic but like i'm on my cycle so it's just like uh i just wanted to get myself out of the crib because i'm like i don't want to just lay in bed all day i don't have to edit today but i was like you know what let me just go outside get some fresh air it's beautiful today go to the seals chill a bit i might get some coffee i should be getting off my cycle within the next two days so i'm really happy about that um but yeah i might get like a little a little bite because i had breakfast today i'm not really hungry hungry but like you know i could eat um they also have a pizza shop it says pizza by Lucille's and like regular Lucille's, like the coffee shop. So I don't know, I might get pizza. No, we're being healthy. We're being, <laughs> girl, we're being healthy. Um, I'm gonna see what they have. I might just get coffee or whatever. But yeah, I'm so happy I found these. And they come with 15, this says 14 to 16 sheets um, in each pack. So I'm gonna assume 15. So that's 35. <laughs> Man, you were really sleeping with that. Because I thought was the only man I was no, sleeping with that. No, I wasn't. 
No, you wasn't. So you weren't having sex with anybody else? No, ma'am. How do you know three, she was with somebody else? Three months after Logan was born, she asked me for a DNA test after she asked two or three of them. That's a lie. I didn't The biological father is... <laughs> What is going on with the people upstairs? Like, are y'all moving freaking elephants? Like, I don't understand why they're making all this noise. But anyways, y'all. Y'all remember how I was like, I want to make Nem or whatever. I'm going to bring it to this um, Eftar dinner that I was invited to. Y'all, I made the Nem. It was trash. <laughs> it was trash. So now, I have to hurry up, go to this Senegalese restaurant, pick up some food because it's last I think it's like 6.45. The dinner starts at 7 o'clock, y'all, by the way, but we don't break fast today until like 7. These food upstairs are getting me tight, but we don't break fast today until like 7.29 or 7.28, but I'm not fasting today. Me not fasting saved me so much embarrassment because, y'all, when I tasted the food, I was like, nah, this is not, I'm not, I'm not embarrassing myself. I'm just not doing it. So, yeah, I tasted, I was like, the filling does not taste right. Like, I know how numb tastes, and it does not taste right, so I'm not gonna embarrass myself. I should have really stuck to something that I knew how to make, um, pate, something else, anything else. I was like, you know what, I want to be different, numb is not easy to make. I don't know what happened, I guess I need more practice, but I'm not bringing that today. So, we're going to Kerasokana to go pick up some mafe, and... Yeah, but I have my abaya on. I look super cute. I'm running madly. It's 6.45. My cousin is probably already there. But I'm running madly. And I don't think I'm really going to be vlogging there because I'm a guest of a guest. So, yeah. And this is my first time meeting the host. So, I'm like, nah. I don't want to, you know, pull up to somebody's crib with the camera or whatever. But, yeah. Don't be like me. Don't try nothing new. Stick to what you know when you're invited to potlucks or whatever. Because then you won't have to deal with the situation. But I'm going to hurry up and go because I'm already running late. But I smell dumb good, y'all. I have on Exalte um, by Fumi Monet. And I also laid it with this Elements body oil. Y'all, this body oil is the truth. Also mixed it with Mugler's Alien Goddess. I smell dumb good. Like, dumb good. I need to do a perfume video. Well, it is Saturday. I haven't vlogged this whole week because I've just been editing this whole week. I'm producing a lot of content. The vlogs will be lackluster because I'm literally just editing, filming, editing, filming. So... Yeah, so yeah, I got the food and I'm on my way to the iftar dinner. I got the mafe, everything is good. I should get there exactly at the time we break fast. I know that's not ideal, but you know, you know, stuff happens basically. Skin is really given. I just got off of my cycle, y'all. So my skin was acting up and I'm like, oh my God. And then I started using, um, first of all, I used the freaking fresh, what was the overnight mask? Yo, that mask was actually really good. I'm not even gonna cap to y'all. That mask was actually really good. But one thing about me, oh, I'm gonna pop a pimple because I don't know, like, I know everybody's like, oh, like, you don't wanna have permanent scars. I'd rather a flat, you know, scar than, not a scar, but like a flat dark spot than like a 3D pimple. Like, I just, that's just me, that's my logic. That's just my logic. I just can't deal with like the pimple. I just gotta pop it. And that's really sad. I really need to stop that. Like I really need to stop that because I have so much hyperpigmentation because of that. Like, girl, that's why I don't even be complaining like, oh my God, I don't know where my hyperpigmentation is coming from. Girl, I know. I know. I know exactly where it's coming from and I know exactly how to stop it. But when I see a pimple on my face, I'm just like, nah, like this gotta go flat. So that is why I always pop my pimples. But it's not a good habit. Like this is a scar right here. This right here is a new pimple that I just popped. And I know that it's hormonal and I don't know why I still be popping these pimples. Like I really don't know why, but listen, I guess I'm gonna never learn. Basically, I guess I'm gonna never learn, but luckily I do have like, you know, some good products that help. Like look at my skin. I have some great products that, you know, help my skin look good. You know what I'm saying? Like people act like they don't know how to drop and this bus is dead getting me tight, no shade. Like why you gotta make this sharp turn for? Anyways, I uploaded a video today and I was up since like 7.30, but I'm running on like five hours of sleep. So it is what it is. I need to get my work done and I got it done. Tomorrow I do have some plans, but I'll see if I could edit a bit while I'm out. Um, but yeah, that's my little update. I'm driving to the Iftar dinner. It's currently at 7.26. Oh, it's fast. It's time to be fast, right? So we have two more minutes. Like I said, I don't think I'm going to be vlogging because, you know, I'm going to somebody else's house. So, yeah, if I do get any type of, like, you know, phone footage or something like that, I will definitely insert it here. 
but for the most part i will talk to you guys later Yes, it is. Hello, girlies, and welcome to Iftar de Mimi with all the baddies. What? 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 No, she makes everybody feel too tall. It is crazy. Oh, it's it looks so pretty. You guys look so beautiful. And I'm also Mimi. And I'm also Mimi. Anyway, we have a prep bar. Um, feel free to serve yourself. I'll grab the little plates. But yeah, open up your stomachs. Thank you. Okay. I do now like that. You don't pop right. Hey guys, I know you guys missed me. I'm like in the middle of time my, you know, hijab or whatnot. But I know you guys missed me a lot. Um, we are at the Iftar dinner right now at Mimi Lamalian's house. Um, <laughs> it's Lamalian, that's her Instagram name. But um, yeah guys, I hope you all are having a beautiful Ramadan, of course. Masha'Allah, um, for the people that are fasting. Um, Alhamdulillah, I feel like. But, um, yeah guys, hope you guys enjoy the vlog. Continue doing great. And I'll be rolling the next clip. Uh, it is the next morning, clearly. Right, what? Nah, it's too early. I'm up bright and early. I gotta handle some business today. I gotta get some stuff done. It is Sunday. Why my voice sound like this? Like, I already knew my voice was, like, you know, a bit off. Because, you know, I was sick or whatever. But this is crazy. Like, this is not okay. Oh, this is Trader Joe's. I forgot. I love this Trader Joe's. Actually, it's actually really pretty. Oh, I can't wait. This summer, I'm gonna do more. You remember last summer how, like, I was going to freaking, um, Governor's Island and stuff like that. I want to do more solo things like that. Like the island is just so beautiful. I want to go. Hey. Oh, okay. This is okay. I'm sorry because I'm taking a route that I've never taken before. And I was just like, how do they block this area off? Like, how am I supposed to get here? But yeah, I just can't wait for the summertime. Like, I just. Yeah, like not even summer, just for it to get warm enough to where it's like, yeah, I could be outside, you know? And that's gonna be like right after Ramadan. This is actually, am I supposed to be driving with her? I really don't know. Like, this is not, this is, no, I'm dead panicking right now. Hold up. Cause I don't know if I'm supposed to be driving one here, bro. I'm dead ass panicking. Cause I'm supposed to be going to Queens. Have you ever been on the Ed Cutch Bridge, whatever it's called? And are y'all supposed to, okay, it's a car behind me. But why am I basically driving on the shoulder? Like, this looks like where pedestrians are supposed to walk. This is mad scary. This is mad scary. I'm not even gonna lie. Oh, I should've just took a toll route, no shade. Cause I was like, you know what? I've been taking too many tolls. And the toast to Queens is 675 or 657, one of the two, six something. So I'm like, nah, let's just save some money. The traffic is literally empty, it's nothing. It's literally eight o'clock right now. So I'm like, you know what? Let me just save some money and take the non toll route. But y'all know shit, I've never taken this route before, ever. And I'm, I'm panicking. Like, I just wanna get off this bridge. I don't wanna be on this bridge. Like, I'm driving on the shoulder. When I say both hands are on steering wheel right now, they are on. Like, what? This is actually not okay. This is that ass not okay. Oh my God, let me stop fasting. That's really crazy. Wow. Wow, I'm just in shock. I made it off the bridge though, y'all. Like, that was that scary. Like, what? When I got on, I'm like, hey, did I take the right like route? 
god this i hate like new york roads this is also why i like to take a tow route because all the money that i'm spending on the tow they have those roads kept up you know what i'm saying them roads is kept okay i don't okay them roads is kept so that's really why i like to take um you know tow routes the roads is kept and it's straightforward like you're just driving for mad long you know like you're driving for like 11 miles at a time but i don't mind that i really don't mind that to like these bumpy new york roads it's just terrible well i just can't wait for the summer i'm so optimistic i'm just so hopeful for the summertime i'm definitely gonna enjoy this summer inshallah because we already got stuff booked everything and like i said new york in the summertime is a completely different vibe like it's just so beautiful it's so calming it's like I love New York in the summertime. New York in the summertime is really that girl, okay? Like, you don't have to really take a vacation. Every single day in New York, is always something going on. And, like, there's so many islands. Roosevelt Island, Governor's Island. Like, so, what's the other freaking thing? It's another island. They, they used to have, like, a festival there. I actually really do like being in New York in the summertime. And now that I actually know more people, I'm going to be going to more events. Like, you know, more actual lit events. Because I feel like, wait, am I supposed to be going this way? Oh, babe, hurry up. Why are you driving that slow? I'm sorry. It's too early for me to even be acting like that. But, like, people, really, who are you honking at? But people really be blowing my mind because it's like, why are you driving so slow as if you don't know where you're going? And now you got people honking at me as if I don't know where I'm going. I mean, I faked it in for a second, but it's like I figured it out mad fast. You're literally figuring out what boat is what. Like, come on. Oh, last night was so fun, y'all. It was so fun, and I really enjoyed myself. Like, I just had so much fun i really appreciate that my cousin invited me like it was so much fun um <coughs> damn my freaking voice at least it doesn't hurt let me not let me not jinx it because before like it was so unbearable to the point where it's like i always had to drink something so it could soothe my um throat now it's not like that alhamdulillah so i'm happy about that yeah y'all it was so much fun i enjoyed myself the food was dumb good i had brought two muffins i didn't even have to bring food like i was told by the host that yeah i told your cousin you don't have to bring anything we already have too much food and we really did have mad food so they was like dang like a whole naji is kind of crazy like they didn't have space for that i took one back home and i just left the one at the host i should have took both to be honest because i don't think that she was probably gonna eat it. like she has so much food i'm like damn i took one of them back home and i gave it to my dad um but yeah a whole naji was kind of crazy though i was supposed to bring them but y'all already know how that went don't be like me i really was not gonna embarrass myself like that's the thing though my cousin was telling me to just add meat and stuff and i'm like i know when stuff is fixable with like seasonings and stuff like that this is not one of the like this is not that this was not that like it did not taste right like you know what i mean i need someone to actually like give me step-by-step -step directions i guess for them because it's not as easy as i thought it was supposed to be i guess like i'm just so in shock even when i told my cousin my older cousin i was like yeah girl you know nem is really not that easy as people make it out to seem i'm like no but it is though like it's that easy like it's not that hard because i was watching so many tutorials on it the sentence in my face i'm not complaining though everybody was doing something different i was watching this one youtube tutorial i was gonna stick with her tutorial she brought up ingredients but then she wasn't using the ingredients so i'm like what happened to the green bell pepper what happened to the freaking thing like what happened to the stuff that you told me that i needed everybody on tiktok has their own little way of doing it some people literally mix like chicken um ground turkey or ground beef together and shrimp all in one bowl before cooking it and then some people cook their meat and then um you know mix it in together with the vermicelle and everything and i'm just like listen like what do i do and the smart person would just call her mom and ask hey can you like run this down for me step by step but she was at work so i was like i don't want to bother her with this i should figure this out on my own but y'all know i didn't i didn't figure it out on my own me not fasting low key came in clutch yesterday because of the fact that yo if i really like went through with this was fasting all day made the nem took and fried everything and then i go and break my fast and i bite into my nem and it's mad nasty oh my god i'll be so embarrassed and everyone would taste this nasty nem imagine not eating for the whole day and then the first bite is something disgusting that's not crazy that's insane so i was like i'm not bringing this i'm just not bringing this like i don't care i'm not embarrassing myself i'm not bringing this so i called my cousin literally at six o'clock i told you guys i'm like yo i'm not bringing this um i'm gonna go buy some food can you send me the document of um you know what other people are bringing so i can know like what to not bring she was like okay cool so i was initially gonna bring um 
a pin of just veggie salad, like the noodles and like the sauce and everything. But why the restaurant gonna say eighty dollars? I said eighty dollars for veggie salad. Like I think y'all gotta understand what veggie salad is. Veggie salad is literally a side dish, and I paid five dollars for it. You think I'm gonna sit here and pay eighty dollars for a, a small pan of veggie salad? Go to hell. I could literally just buy three three things of veggie salad, right? Get my own small pan and I'll be good. I should have thought about that. $80, I said absolutely not. So I'm like, okay, let me get a Naji or something. Cause I know it's gonna be Africans there and Africans love them some Naji. And Mafia is like literally like one of my favorite um stews, Senegalese stews. Mafia is so good. It's like a spicy peanut butter um stew. If you're Malian, I don't really like the Gadigana. Like I like more spice in my in my food. Like I can't just eat bland, not not bland. I feel like the Gadigana is like, it's good. Like it's good, like it's a step under my fair. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not spicy enough for me. And I know I can just add my own spice, but I feel like my fair is made a bit differently. And I just like it. Like I love my fair. Chef, honestly, I just love Senegalese food. I just love Senegalese food. Like my cousin made some zamen last night, and that's like um Mali and Jalove, if you guys don't know. And I'm like, girl, this is good. But it's like her mom makes great zamen because she's literally half Senegalese. So I'm like, yeah, of course your mom's gonna make some great zamen. Like zamen is good but like like i said i just like a different what's the word flavor profile and i feel like senegalese food just fits my flavor profile like chef is amazing maf is amazing yasa is amazing like you know what i mean so that's really what it is like it's not like i don't like malian food i like it but if i had the option to choose oh senegalese or malian definitely going with senegalese like straight up and i got it I'm so, I'm so upset that like I don't speak Wolof anymore y'all like well that's so sad like I don't speak Wolof anymore I used to speak Wolof like crazy I think I told you guys this before when I visited my granddad like my dad's dad in Senegal when I was younger I was the only person that could speak to him because I'm the only one that spoke Wolof I went to a Senegalese babysitter like I was yo I really used to speak Wolof like crazy bro like crazy and then since my dad doesn't speak Wolof he speaks Bambara me and my dad were communicating in Wolof we were communicating in Bambara or English so as I got older I no longer really had to speak Wolof so I just forgot how to speak it when I went to that Senegalese babysitter that was the only language he spoke it was that in French and I didn't know how to speak French, I didn't know how to speak Wolof. So, yeah, that just goes to show, if you have a kid, teach them all the languages now. Talk to them in all the languages now because kids learn so quickly, their brains adapt so much quicker than adults. That's like one of like the biggest L's that like, I feel like I took. Like, not being able to speak Wolof anymore. I wish like my dad would speak Wolof for me. But I understand, my mom was from Bambara, so. And also he was raised in Mali, so. Anyways, that's my whole family tree. I'm freaking crying, but. Yeah, no, I really want to learn how to speak Wolof again, but I know it's going to be so hard, so hard, like, so hard, because when I hear my friends speak Wolof now, I just, like, like, nothing is recognizable, like, nothing is recognizable, I'm like, what did you just say? Like, I used to speak, like, crazy, and I feel so bad, but yeah, when I have kids, oh yeah, they speak in every language possible, every language, I'm going to teach them every language, I will take them to, I will take them to a Mandarin babysitter. You think I'm joking? I'm so serious. I will take them to a Mandarin babysitter. You will grow up speaking Mandarin. I'm gonna speak Bambara at home. Whichever West African man I marry, we're gonna speak their home language as well. I'm not playing. I'm not playing. Like, my child will be multilingual, okay? Like, they will be able to get any job possible. French could be taught as well, but I feel like French is actually an easy language to learn as an adult. Like, a lot of people will learn French when they're older. As well as Spanish. Like, I feel like, especially if you grow up, like, in a predominantly Hispanic neighborhood or something like that. Like, I know some Spanish words. Like, I did know some Spanish words. If you grow up in a predominantly Hispanic neighborhood, you should be able to figure out, you know, what certain things mean or whatever. So, you know, I already have a set in stone plan for my child. No, I'm just joking. But, y'all, I'm really chatting because, like I said, can't listen to music. So, I'd rather just talk to y'all. It was so much fun. It was so much fun, y'all. Yeah. Like, uh, I enjoyed myself so much. And we're halfway through Ramadan. Like, it flew by so fast. So fast. I just feel so much lighter. And that's literally what Ramadan is all about. Like, a cleanse. A spiritual cleanse. And I forgive anybody who's ever done me wrong. I hope anyone that I've ever done wrong forgives me. If you ever had a good Ramadan, like, you really reach out to your ops, like, yo, like, I'm sorry. You know, I'm joking. <laughs> I play too much. You feel so enlightened after Ramadan. It's like, yo, this life 
it's too short it's too short especially as i'm getting older i just realized no like life is way too short i cannot live my life doing things or being with people that just don't serve me yeah that's basically it like i don't even have anything else to say literally yesterday when i uploaded my shower routine Aisha too she's one of my subscribers right she was like amina are we in the same ramadan because <laughs> i'm just uploading content like i'm not playing also, I had that shower routine since February. Like, that was sitting in my boat since February. And no shit, I'm happy that um, I never, like, filmed it. Well, finished filming it. Because I had to finish filming the um, lotioning part in my room. And I just never did it. But I'm happy that I waited out a bit because, one, my channel was freaking shadow banned. So, even if I upload that shower routine, it probably would have flopped. No shade. Because YouTube was just not pushing my content out. I'm just trying to push out quality, fun content. I'm not just pushing out videos just to push out videos to be like, oh, she uploaded today. You know, like anything that I upload is something that I'm very interested in or it's very well thought out. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you guys can see the effort behind the video. And I really did enjoy that shower routine, y'all. That lens. I don't know if you guys watched my Amazon video, but I filmed my whole shower routine. No, I'm lying. The skincare portion, I filmed with my 50 millimeter. But the whole, the rest of the shower routine, I filmed with my 35 millimeter lens that I got from Amazon from Young Gunna. I'm going to look down below. That lens is actually very very good um like i said it's, it is loud like when it does auto focus you will hear it i use that for footage where i don't have to speak so for instance a shower routine or if i need b-roll footage of like a try on haul or something like that i will use that lens but the like it just looks so beautiful yo if y'all have not seen my shower routine go watch it not even trying to like push it but just go watch it see the quality see how blurry the background is it's literally amazing y'all like amazing for a hundred dollars i really wish that it didn't make that much noise like it's an amazing lens but like i said i will use it for like you know content where i don't have to talk and young girl makes amazing camera products like wow like the lens is fire like i can't i'm not even capping together the lens is fire and i recommend it like i really recommend it especially if you want to up your quality but you really don't want to spend too much money on a lens that's the perfect lens to spend your money on it's a 35 millimeter lens so it's not too cropped in but it is a bit more cropped in than your like your typical lens i highly recommend it what are you doing what are you doing it's amazing y'all i will talk to you guys later because i'm just chatting i have six more minutes until i reach my destination and uh, yeah i might go to trader joe's today though so i might pick you guys back up when i i'm at trader joe's but yeah i made it to trader joe's i'm about to go do some shopping i don't know why hold up let me check on my bag or something because i have my phone in my bag all in my hands Y'all, why does they say I can't record? It says, please, no photography or sound video recording allowed. I've never seen this at a trailer. Let me show it to y'all. I couldn't show it to y'all because people were walking in and out. But I'm going to just show you guys what I get because I don't want to vlog in here. So, yeah. So, this is everything I'm going to be getting today. I'm actually going to go and get the chicken fried rice before I leave. But this is everything that I'm going to get today. Um, a quick little Trader Joe's haul. But I really want to try these. I saw this on tiktok and i was like oh yeah i want to try these but i'm making pasta tonight if you guys can tell and these chicken tikka masolas i said <laughs> masolas these chicken tikka samosas are so good so and the mochi is really good as well so, so i made it back in y'all and i just wanted to do like a quick little trader joe's haul so i got this trader joe's mochi or is it mochi i think it's mochi but i got the vanilla one it's really really good ground turkey from now on i'm only gonna get my ground turkey from trader joe's because why was this 3.99 and anywhere else, any supermarket that I go to, it's like five ninety nine, six ninety nine. Absolutely not. I'm getting my three ninety nine Trader Joe's ground turkey. I got two things of Greek vanilla yogurt. I love using these for my overnight oats. And then I picked up these chicken tikka samosas. These are so good. If you like curry or anything like that, or if you just like chicken tikka, definitely recommend. I got some penne for the pasta that I'm making tonight. Parmesan cheese for pasta that I'm making tonight. And then I got some chicken broth, heavy whipping cream for the sauce. That I'm making tonight and then I got some tomato basil marinara sauce it's for the pasta tonight this is for the pasta tonight as well but I've seen this on TikTok and I heard that it's really really good so I was like yeah let me just pick it up um but it's their garlic and cheese breadsticks I was looking for their garlic cheese if you guys know what I'm talking about it was a garlic bread cheese but they didn't have it and then I picked up some sun-dried tomatoes I'm gonna make that for the pasta and then I saw this all over TikTok as well I saw people making this on their eggs this is their crunchy chili onion and just based off the ingredients it looks like it's gonna be really really good so I'm excited to try this um yeah and then I picked up some chicken fried rice this is one of the best things Trader Joe's has ever made like I love this so much it's so easy to make it literally takes five minutes to make 
super duper good and yeah that's everything the next time you guys see me is probably gonna be in montage mode when i cook but yeah actually i might not cook because you guys remember what happened with the last time i cooked so <laughs> i'm not sure you the final products but yeah dinner is ready i made the garlic cheese breadsticks whatever if that, i don't think that's the name of it but i tried something new i made penne ground turkey marinara but then i made my own little alfredo sauce for fake put some cheese on there and yeah i'm gonna let you guys know how it tastes though it looks pretty good i mean i also really just love cheese so i'm gonna just let this cool down a bit but yeah and the cheese that i put on is just like this cheddar melt and it's mozzarella but i'm excited to try these out like yeah but it smells good so i'm excited but i don't know what i would call this though is it like a lasagna bake but i made it with penny noodles so Mm -hmm. I don't know. Good morning, you guys. Yo, my voice be sounding so crazy. That's not crazy, y'all. My voice be sounding ridiculous, bro. Ridiculous. But it is the next day. It is Monday. Today, what do I have on agenda? Why does this camera keep on going in and out? Like, this is actually quite literally annoying me. I'm not gonna fucking lie. But today what do i have on the agenda for today so i need to edit this vlog because it needs to go up by tomorrow but tomorrow it's gonna be a new vlog i have i have a lot of exciting i have a lot to do this week some is exciting some is sad some is you know i have a lot to do today or oh, this week so i have to prepare for that but tomorrow um I'm, I'm going out with my little sister aisha and we have to go get her outfit because it's someplace really really special but you guys will see that in the next vlog so we're going to target to see if we can find her some heels or something i don't know where you could get kids heels from so we're going to target to see if we could get that and after i'm debating on whether or not i want to go to lucille's and work because they're doing construction in my house today so um they're coming in and out i'm like i hope they don't come tomorrow because i got to film tomorrow so yeah we're gonna see about that i woke up last week ago i brushed my teeth washed my face and everything um but i'm about to get dressed so we could go to target i think it's like 10 a.m so yeah i will talk to you guys later y'all that food was dumb good last night and the freaking chili oil thingy that i got from Trader Joe's, dumb good like it really took that freaking pasta to the next level not even add that much i had like one tablespoon what's this one tablespoon it was dumb good like oof put me in a coma but it was really good we're fasting today so my energy might be a bit depleted by the time it reaches like three four o'clock but tonight i'm not cooking i might just eat my leftovers from yesterday and call it a day so yeah i'll talk to you guys once we're in target in target now we're currently in the fitting room aisha's about to try on her clothes to see how the dress fits we got like this really pretty lavender dress and then we got these lavender sandals to go with it i think it's like super duper cute but yeah after here i need to go get some peppermint soap because i'm running low it is currently 11 45 right now i'm running on good timing i didn't want to just stay home all day especially with the construction going on i was like i do not want to go i don't want to hear that like i really just don't want to hear that so I was like i don't mind going out and then just like you know staying up to edit tonight um because like i said my vlog take me a while to edit like i can't just edit one two in the morning no and they take a while to save they take a while to upload so i have to have the video ready by tonight so at least by tomorrow it'll be good to go so yeah i will talk to you guys later let me show you guys my little outfit though so this is what i am looking like I told you i'm gonna be in sambas all summer spring whatever and i have all my wonder train tights i love these tights so much next you get up they shape you up so, wow, spider hoodie. And this is the scarf that I got from Amazon. So, yeah. <laughs> 